on the cataclysm itself. A week ago, my cousin Ukaru came to my office concerned about a series of lost shipments. He was certain someone was using the tragedy as cover to steal supplies and route them to our enemies. I'm not sure. The message was vague, and there are many who would want to do us harm. Agreed. It is difficult to believe, and as such, the proof must be ironclad. So I told my cousin to return with more evidence, and when I didn't hear back, I assumed that was the end of it. But this morning, I received a slate from a courier. It was from Ukaru. It was worrying, to say the least. It felt like Okaru was trying to warn me. The contents were cryptic. He mentions a possible conspiracy and being followed and, well... I hate to say it, but I'm starting to panic. He hasn't shown up to work in days, and the timing of all this feels... suspicious. A sudden absence would give credence to the idea he was followed. Agreed. Okaru was extremely punctual. An absence like this is very unlike him. But if he is in danger, I don't know if it's safe for me to investigate. I need someone disconnected from the noble houses. I'm not sure that's wise, given Ukaru's warnings. If what he says is true, a watchful eye is being kept on House Dulkef. They may blame him or me for the supplies going missing. And if I investigate this, I could be accused of wiping records or tampering with evidence. An independent investigator unaffiliated with the houses is what we need here. The slate Okaru sent via courier is light on details, but he did say that one of the noble houses may be involved. Which, if true, would emphasize the need for discretion and an outside party. Vital supplies for the city, which given the cataclysm is a wide breadth of things. Construction materials, medical kits, food... The loss of all this is a great cause for concern, given the state of the city. Ukaru's workstation is likely your best bet. He's been working in the rehabilitation unit on the third floor of the Halls of Healing. If you run into any issues with access, hand this slate to my fellow executors. Once you locate him, report back to me. I've got a meeting at House Kadik later, but I shouldn't be hard to track down. Hopefully you'll find my cousin alive and safe. Great Serpent Guide you. I'm trying to keep strong, but I fear you I may be losing send someone mind. out there. This apparition must be dealt with. It is my top priority, I assure you. But it is dangerous the further you step away from the city. We will need someone qualified to assist. But what about yourself? Are you not trained in the Herald's arts? Well, uh, technically, I'm still an apprentice. But what you speak of is akin to an exorcism, and we know little about how these phantoms exist in our world. Even a fully trained herald may not be equipped to deal with this phenomenon. By Genon's word, has the Great Serpent left us with nothing to defend ourselves? This is an ill omen indeed. You must keep the faith, and in doing so the reward will come. You see? All is not lost. My friend here may be just the person we need. Oh, your timing could not be better. We have a situation. It's an urgent matter. 
There's a spirit haunting the old orphanage. A vortex phantom, to be clear. But be that as it may, we now have a headwind for your case. From what I've heard, my friend here is quite famous for dealing with exactly your type of problem. Is that so? You've handled these phantoms before? Yes, but something about this feels strange. The phantoms we encountered were dangerous. Hostile. I don't know. She... It... Didn't even look at me. It stood by itself near the window. But I only caught a glimpse of it from afar. Hmm. That is not the behavior I'd expect. Given what we know about these things. But... I will let the Vindicator investigate and make their own conclusions. They are haunting the old orphanage. Until recently it was a refuge for lost children, but had closed down due to a lack of volunteers. In the past few weeks there have been rumors of people squatting there and using the building as housing. Given its history, it doesn't surprise me that a wayward soul would go back there, if they sought to be found. A wayward soul? Surely we should not give such merciful terms to this... thing. It haunts the orphanage and is a clear danger to anyone who may have been inside. Yes, the old orphanage is ill-fated, that much is certain. Even before the city was lost, I once asked the Heralds to read the Star Scales and bless the children there. Instead, they spoke of malicious portents. Now I wonder if the land itself is cursed. I'm afraid I did not get close at all. The ground surrounding the orphanage is collapsing. There may be other dangers and perhaps even phantoms nearby. But my concern is for anyone who may have been living in the building. I was at the Halls of Healing, praying for my family. The odd thing is, I did not know what I was praying for. Only that I had a fear in my gut, a sharp pain of the abdomen. Moments later, I heard the din of the crowd and rushed out, searching for my husband. My prayers were answered when I found him safe. But the same cannot be said for the orphanage. We must rid the house of this phantom. It was once an orphanage for young children who lost their parents. The children were raised there and eventually guided into service by the Ministry of State. It was run by a handful of donors and local volunteers like the Ueda girl. But it closed down months ago. Are you in shock? You seem to have lost the ability to speak. Great Serpent, protect us from evil. Why would I can be a bit talkative, manic even. even. <laughs> Serpent be with you. I came to the hospital in hopes the Herald's prayer could exercise this thing. I know not what these phantoms are, but I assure you they are not friendly. Is it the urgent or can tell you as much? I'm sorry, but this wing of the hospital is under investigation. You'll have to leave. Even with the cataclysm, this is highly irregular. But not surprising. Kisrani is obsessed with transparency and often seeks independent help. I find this tendency unwise. And by unwise, he means a complete disregard for operational security, rules, and regulations. Possibly. 
And yet, despite what I said, and unsaid, she persists in doing so. So, we must come to a compromise. A good compromise leaves everyone unhappy. This one was particularly miserable. I will give you the key card to Ukara's computer. You will be able to access documents and correspondence for the past month. Any further access will require admin privileges, which I am not willing to grant. Of course. If there's anything else I can do, let me know. Unfortunately, rather than use the proper channels, he chose to start his own investigation. A very unfortunate choice. I will not pretend to know the particulars of this case. I will say this. We are House Dual Kef. We have a reputation. We are professional. We are exacting. We don't make mistakes. Precisely. Ukaru hasn't logged into his station for some time. I've had to process several write-ups documenting his absence. Dereliction of duty. Failure to serve. Fireable offenses all around. We've also had to shift resources and people to make up for his absence. Suffice to say, it has made navigating this current situation more difficult. It is highly unusual for anyone to display such disobedience, especially now. Such actions are tantamount to heresy. Loss of employment is the most likely outcome. A beheading isn't off the table. It would be done humanely, of course. Several. The Halls of Healing are extremely busy. We can't keep track of every individual that passes through. In particular, the patients. We had to usher one out of here just now, who claimed to have a crippling headache. Given the patient himself was a headache, it's likely genetic. Admin privileges would allow you to view the access logs, however, that track the last three users to sign in. Now, to get back to these spreadsheets. This unit has been repurposed from a medical bot to aid in smuggling and trade. After the cataclysm, resources have been pulled from other departments to reach specific goals. I apologize, but you were only given access to view the computer's records. Admin privileges are restricted to house officials only. Good point. I suppose our backlog would only worsen if that were the case. The cataclysm has made things difficult. I suppose, given all that's happened, exceptions must be made. You'll be granted temporary admin privileges to Ukaru's computer. That should be enough for you to do your investigation. Let me know if you have any further questions.
access is provided to and by executors of House Dual Kef. This unit reminds you to be mindful of your position. Our supplies dwindle by the second. It still seems surprising that Chunks was ever allowed to build here. The end result, however, is hardly a surprise. It is heartbreaking to see my people reduced to this.
Don't worry. This is a part of the Great Serpent's design. Hmm. Perhaps a fence to keep out the beasts. There's no going back. Have you come to scoff at the fools? Or are you here to join us, perhaps? Then you have not heard of the outcasts living at Junks? I'm not surprised. Our existence is a shameful topic for many. All my life I've looked upward, yearning to explore distant worlds. Such thinking is frowned upon, so I kept these feelings in my heart and did not speak of them. When the calamity struck, things changed. Some of us openly questioned whether it was safe to remain here. The condemnation was swift and merciless. We were shunned and cursed. People would not look at us. Merchants would not serve us. We left the city behind, knowing we would never again be forgiven or accepted. Thank you. Sympathy from a stranger is a rare gift among the people of House Varun. Unfortunately, our collective closed-mindedness could lead to our downfall. If more of these unforeseen calamities should happen, we risk losing everything. If you need a place to stay, you may remain here as long as you like. Unlike those in this city, we do not make others feel unwelcome. Or was there something else? Several reasons. For one, it's large enough to accommodate us comfortably. It's also far enough from the city to afford us some solitude. And lastly, it is unclaimed, and so there is nobody to object to our presence. In truth, people from the city don't like to come here. To many, it's a symbol of the greed and corruption that plague the other factions of humanity. Once something is accepted as tradition, it is difficult to change people's minds. The Great Serpent guided Jinan Varun to this world. It is where we are meant to be. To desire to travel to other worlds is to be in defiance of the Serpent's will. Only a select few are sent forth as spies to protect us from the other factions. But in truth, I see a means of control. If people left, they might return with new ideas and challenging questions that threaten the fabric of society. Is it possible that someday some of us could return? Perhaps. But that future is difficult to see. At least today. It could be a long time. Perhaps years or even decades before we are accepted in Dazra City again. It is just as likely that we will all die here. Forgotten by our brothers and sisters. Very well. We'll need to find more supplies soon. See anything useful?
At first glance, it seems we are the only ones to come through here in some time. stored all of this here for a reason.
Oh, we can pause for a moment. If you need to recover.
Profit is never necessarily the aim, but if there is something worth taking...
move on.
sure what to make of you. Great Serpent keep you. Thank you, Envoy. I'll consider it. Was there anything else? Yes, there was one more thing. Regarding the missing supplies, I was wondering if I could be of any assistance. Our agents mostly work in the settled systems, but I have contacts in Dazra as well. I can set up a meeting at the Halls of Obedience. I appreciate the support. My mind has been frazzled as of late. It's understandable. The accident has affected all of us. You're right, and your concern is welcome. I apologize. The envoy and I were just discussing matters of state. In particular? I offered to help find the missing supplies. I have my people looking into the matter as well. Thank you for your diligence, Envoy. On that note, I hate to take up any more of your time than I already have. And I'm sure you're busy with issues regarding your own house. If you don't mind, I'd like a moment with the Vindicator alone. This is a personal matter. I am sure the Envoy will respect our privacy. Indeed. And your timing is apt. The cortege has arrived at the spaceport, and I don't like to leave the crew waiting. Thank you, Envoy. Executor. I appreciate your discretion. The Envoy is a trusted figure, but... you can never be too careful in situations like this. In my line of work, this holds especially true. The more people know, the more everyone knows. Exactly. We keep the circle of trust small until we know who to let in. And while having the conversation here isn't entirely secure, we press for time, so it'll have to do. So, now that we're alone, tell me, what have you uncovered? <sighs> I was afraid of that. Ah. If only I had preached more caution. But after the accident, things were dire. Our resources were blocked. We needed those supplies, and... Indeed. But there's more going on here than meets the eye. If the Zealots are responsible, they must be punished. But one question remains. How would they gain access to the shipments in the first place? The answer is both obvious and impossible to believe. Who would betray House Varun when so many are suffering? That is a part I am having trouble with myself. But perhaps our loyalty to House Varun blinds us. This slate you found, it mentions a contact. Someone on the inside. This person would have to be well versed in our operational pipeline. They would have to know where to route the shipments and how to clean the books. It seems unfathomable. But perhaps Ukaru was right. A member of the noble houses has betrayed us. Yes, 
But without coordinates, Jandar's rest could be anywhere on Varun Kai. We're going to need to enlist some help. I'd like you to speak with Tivina Vithal at the Keep. If that slate has coordinates, she may have the means to decrypt it. They are fiercely loyal to House Varun and are in charge of rooting out zealotry in our ranks. Only one thing troubles me, though. If a shipment were put on hold and confiscated, it would likely go to them first. My mind goes immediately to motive. Who would want to aid the Zealots? I want to be careful, but I will say this. There are members of the noble houses who have floated the idea of reconciliation in the past. But to make a suggestion is one thing. Without approval from the Speaker, the act is treason. 